Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this module, we're going to see how we can use the SD card with our PLC. So let's go to the presentation to start this. So with the SD card, there are some functionalities that we can do with our controller. Okay, we can clone the actual application that we have on the controller and put it on the SD card. We also have the possibility to use the firmware update so we can download into the SD card the firmware and then uh, from the software or from the laptop to the SD card and then download it to the PLC. We also have the possibility to download the application so we can from the software download the application in the SD card and then download it to the target. We also have the post configuration which are the configuration for example for the communication ports for the Ethernet or for the module serial we can predefine that put it on the SD card and then download it to the target we also have the possibility to see the errors based on the problem that we have on the PLC by our mistake or something else we can download or upload from the SD card from the controller into the SD card and see the errors list that we have on the controller we can also see the memory management, which is uh, we can use the SD card to put it on the controller and then retrieve the actual values that we have on the controller. And the last one, which is uh, the best one, is for the data login. It's, it's not the best one, but one functionality that we can use the data login to login data into the SD card so we can retrieve it and see it in our laptop. Um, depend on the controller that we have, we have different access. Okay, you can see from the, uh, I believe this one is the book one. Okay, TM221M. Okay, we have on the top we have this cover, and from the other one we have over here the cover for the SD card. So the SD card, this is the characteristics that we have for the SD card. We want to use it based on the manual. Okay, there is this reference for the SD card from the Schneider, okay? But if you want, you can use a standard one. Then in order to validate that everything is fine, okay? We need to format the SD card, okay? Right click into the device, to the SD card, format, father to start, wait for this to finish. And in order to, if we want to put the SD card into the controller, we need to check this, that the write is available or is enabled in order to exchange information to the device. Then in front of the controller, we have some LEDs. These LEDs are important because they can tell us if we have some activities on the SD card, as you can see over here. The green indicates that the SD card is exceeded off nothing happened over there and if we flash and there is an error during the car SD card operation. Then if we want to do some logic inside the controller we also have the possibility to use the SW7 which is one of the system words to indicate if the SD card is present. For example if you want to make a data login it's good to know that the SD card is present so avoid any mistake or lose information. So that is good. You can give a signal of error or whatever you want. That's the reason to see this. Then we also have the possibility to work with the values that we can store on the internal memory of the controller or in the SD card. So this one are the two SW in system variables. Okay that allows us to specify, for example, the number of values that we want to back up or restore from the internal memory or for the SD card, okay? And then the operation status, we have this one, the SW147, and here are all the status, okay? And then we have the symbol, um, the system bits, okay? We have all this five. That allows us to make operations and this one is the status so the execution of this depends also on the configuration of this okay on the number of values that we want to back up or restore so probably now 
you can see everything okay so we have this in order to backup with the s90 we specify we want the internal flash to be the one that back up the memory or the sd card okay then we also have this possibility to make all the executions erase save backup and restore for these four we also before doing all of this we must specify the number of values that we want to store from the device now continue with this so now let's create an animation table with all this information okay and then we check the status of the sw7 to see if it's located or not okay sw7 bit 2 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, B2. So let's open our application first. This one is the one that we were working with. And this is the SD card. We move this to the other side. Perfect. So the first thing that we need to do is to right click over here, format, file 32. The name, it doesn't matter right now. Okay, start. Okay. Format complete. Perfect. Okay, it's good. Now we can remove it. You need to remove it safely on your side. Now, let's connect to the PLC. Now, first, let's create an animation table. Table underscore SD. Just put this in the other side and see if there is something missing. Okay, so S90 to 94. Okay, then we have SW147 8. Then we have the SW7, which is to the status, and then going to add a percentage NW1. Uh, 20 okay then we're gonna see what's going on so let's connect to the controller now okay there's some information over there so I've been playing with this before so I have already specified this number to store this is the status but in order to understand what's going on let's see the binary of this so uh, so as I told you before the bit 2 0 1 2 this one indicate the presence of the SD card so let me change this view <laughs> okay good so now what I'm going to do is to insert the SD card and the bit 2 of this world should change okay so now we're going to put this over here. Okay. You can see there you have change, which is the bit zero, one, and two, which is the third one. Okay, over there. I don't know if you can see but the SD car the status of the SD car now is off okay let me just double check over here on the presentation okay indicates no access okay we are not doing nothing over there so let's try to to backup, okay, going to change the backup to be used the SD card, okay. I'm going to say change this value 45, okay. I'm going to backup, uh, da, 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 okay. I'm going to backup the information, okay. Now Okay, change this to 1 to SD card. I'm going to change this value over here 
66 and now I'm going to restore it. as you can see there I have restored the value that I have on the SD card okay that is the process basically of having the SD card or instead of using the SD card you can use the internal memory of the PLC okay and you can play with this information in order to store data let me just double check if I'm missing something over here uh, no, I believe I can show you now what happened with have when I remove the SD card. In order to see properly, let's see this in decimal. So this value should change when I remove the SD card. I wasn't able to see it because I was removing the SD card and I believe I disconnect everything <laughs> the Ethernet cable okay so just to show you again that value the decimal is going to change there we go now I'm going to change it again just to show you okay there we go so let me just go back to the presentation <laughs> now that's it at the moment so we have seen how we can store information on uh, SD card okay and Basically, there is a percentage SW7 that allows you to see if the SD card has been accessed or not. We can also see the errors on the different bits of the SD card. And then we have also the possibility to, to use the percentage S90 and the, and the rest of them in order to make operation and order to identify if we want to save the data on the SD card or in the internal memory. So this is it at this moment to start with the SD card module. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.